let me just explain to, to the viewers that every time that you do this gesture, you are saying something which is the most revolutionary possible. You are talking about two measurements in time, one in the past, one in the future. These are the two measurements that we are making on the particle. And what you say is that the evolution in between is affected both by the past and the future. Yeah. Nothing like that we know in, in, our ordinary, in our ordinary life. We are now affected by our morning, whatever we ate at breakfast and so on. The, the evening is still unknown, it's still in the future. It would be the most ridiculous thing to say that our behavior now is affected by both events in the morning and at evening because it's now noon. So actually, this is what you say explains some of the mysteries of quantum mechanics. And that is that the quantum single particle or quantum of energy is affected equally by uh, events in the uh, past as well as in the future. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> so once we came to this point, we can come now to the basic thesis of that I believe that we are facing a new revolution in physics. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and I want to first talk a little bit about the issue of revolution in general. In the beginning of last century, two revolutions shook the world of science, relativity and quantum mechanics. Both uh, <clears throat> revolutions did not say that classical physics is wrong because in the whole range where classical physics was checked experimentally, it was completely right. So that means that the only way that the revolution can happen is that we come to a range of phenomena that has a new uh, region that was never tested experimentally before. In the case of relativity, it was moving close to the velocity of light, which nobody was able to do before, and therefore all the experiments that were done in classical physics never could discuss what happens when something moves close to the velocity of light. In the case of quantum mechanics, it's because we found new way to do <coughs> experiment on extremely small light particles that we discovered this new phenomena that is called quantum mechanics. So now I suggest there is another, another region of physics where experiments were not done so far on it. And that uh, region is the region of complexity. 